All right, let's talk about the mental part of the game. My name's Greg, you're watching How to Play Paintball. Okay, so this was actually a question from uh, one of my Patreon. Uh, so appreciate all of my Patreon out there. Thank you so much for your guys' support. Uh, and what I wanna do is actually kind of roll that question into some other parts of the video. And there's actually gonna be a giveaway as well. So you wanna make sure that you stay tuned to see how you can win uh, some of my own gear and also some other really cool stuff from uh, from Ruthless. So I apologize for any of the, the wind noise and. I was trying to see if I could wait for it to uh, to die down a little bit, but I don't know if it's really going to. So I apologize if there is any of that that you hear with the uh, with the microphone. Um, so this was from uh, Loyal Blue Fox. Uh, so thank you to uh, to to them for uh, for their support on Patreon. And uh, they were asking about kind of what's what's the mindset game day for when you actually have your tournament and you're about to go and play with this a lot of it is going to be mental i think some guys play really well at practice and then they choke when it comes to uh the actual tournament because they start getting nervous about oh there's going to be people watching and there's you know the actual refs are there or you know whatever the case may be maybe you have family that's in town you want to make sure that you're you're playing well uh in front of them so there's there's going to be a lot of these external factors that are happening that honestly what you need to do is to erase all of that. Uh, the mental part of paintball is just as important as the physical part. And this is something I've been learning more uh, even recently. And I've noticed it too. Like I, I go out and I can step on the pro field and feel a lot more comfortable now. It's not, uh, oh man, Go Sports is watching or this, you know, these people are, are watching our games online or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, and it's something that is, uh, I think, just kind of, happen from just kind of moving moving forward and continuing to play in, in the in the pro leagues but uh when you're actually going out to the tournament uh and this is something that you can do you even start practicing now is uh positive self-thought so this is something that is um just you going in whether it be talking to yourself in a mirror in your own head you know you put on headphones whatever you just kind of sit there i like to do this right i just kind of go off to the side and just sit and just kind of almost meditate. I mean, I'm just kind of sitting there going through uh, wins in my head. You want to go in with uh, a positive mindset. Um, but you want to go through and, you know, yes, I am a killer. Yes, I am someone that's going to go out and I'm going to go dominate. And who do these guys think they are? Whatever it is that gets you kind of psyched up is something that you want to start to go uh, in your head. Um, something that will help with just the mental aspect of actual tournament day is uh the night before make sure that all your gear is ready i mean don't don't go to the field and that is when you're going to be cleaning your your equipment that's when you're uh testing to see if stuff is working if you already have your marker clean and your your loader clean and everything is all set batteries are charged you have fresh batteries you know whatever type of marker or loader you have um that's going to make a difference because then you don't have to worry about oh, I need to go and do this and this. And then your, your brain is in 14 different places all at the same time when it should just be, I just want to focus on playing. Uh, that also goes for, you want to get there a little bit early so that way you can make sure that one, the paint is ready. Uh, and two, you guys are just ready to play. Uh, you don't want it to be that you're scrambling because again, you want it to be that you can focus in. And that's where that, that kind of meditation and all that comes in is because then you can kind of, uh, there's a, 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 I guess a mantra I would have now is be where your feet are. When I step on the field, it's going to be, that's the only thing that I'm gonna focus in on is going and being a monster. I'll be everyone's friend off the field on the field, I wanna make sure that people are scared to play against me. I wanna make sure that I go and have that kind of a mindset because I am a competitor. I want to go out and uh, and dominate on the field. So this is something that you can have in your mind of, okay, this is how I'm going to go in and focus in on. Uh, so a lot of it is just gonna come down to that. The other thing is having selective amnesia. This is something that, I think it was Maddie Marshall, um, he used to play pro for you that, guys that don't know. Um, he played pro for a while with Ironman and Excessive and uh, I think a couple other teams, but 
Uh, he's the Maddie Marshall that a lot of you know from Go Sports. And he, I think, was the one that talked about selective amnesia. Mistakes are going to happen. Even Rich Telford, uh, I was talking with him about this. And it's just that the best players are going to make less mistakes. And also, a lot of it is going to be, okay, a mistake happened. How do I fix it? And change. You, you can't dwell on a mistake. If you do that, then you're going to hesitate the next time that you need to move to actually get down the field to go and do something. You need to forget that that point happened, forget that that bad point happened, whatever it is that, that did happen. Maybe equipment went down, maybe there was a bad call. Things like that are gonna happen that are out of your control. Um, so things like that are going to happen. It's gonna happen that, um, <laughs> I literally one time, I won't call them out, but uh, there was someone on Dynasty that I shot going into the snake and they wiped off the hit going in. Stuff like that's gonna happen. I, I, you can't let that get to you. Uh, all you need to do is just kind of like, okay, all right, I'll remember that for next time and make sure that I'm gonna, you know, put it on you a little bit more next time so that you can't do that. So the, the mental aspect of, of playing is super important. And that actually ties into uh, the giveaway. So um, I have a, a new headband. I don't know if you can see the, the black one that I have here. Uh, and on there is a Japanese kanji that means kintsugi. And kintsugi is a, a mindset that I, I want to have. Um, and also basically what kintsugi is, is uh, if a pottery breaks, uh, it's a Japanese art form that they take it, they take the pieces, they put them back together and they use either gold or I think they can also use silver uh, to put it all back together. So the flaws are making it more beautiful and actually stronger. So that's the mindset that I wanna have when I'm playing, where my, my flaws don't define me, they make me stronger. It's because of my flaws that I'm able to go out and be better. It's because of the mistakes that I've made that now I can learn from them. If you go out, especially at practice, you go out and you get shot, you can either have the decision of, oh man, and you flip out and start getting all upset, or you can go take a step back and go, okay, how do I fix that? Okay, if I had stepped out this way, I could have stopped this, could have done this instead, I could have done whatever, and then um, you change that for the next point. That's, that's that kintsugi mindset. That's the idea that I'm not going to let this mistake be the thing that ruins my day. It's gonna actually make me stronger. So hopefully that all makes sense. Um, I appreciate you all watching. Thank you again to Loyal Blue Fox for, um, uh, for being one of my Patreon. If you want to be a part of my Patreon, there's a bunch of different levels that you can go to. So patreon.com slash how to play paintball. Um, so thank you so much to all of them for, for their support. Uh, so I actually, Ruthless was nice enough to send two other headbands. So that way I would be able to, uh, uh, to do a giveaway. So I'm going to have two more for that, but also, uh, I'm going to have it where my, uh, uh, my ML Kings, um, headband is going to be, uh, kind of like the grand prize along with, uh, some prototype gloves that these are not out yet. Um, so Ruthless is going to be coming out with some really cool stuff. They've already kind of teased it. Um, so these are actually prototype gloves. Uh, so you'll be one of, I think it's only myself and maybe like five other people in the U.S. that actually have these gloves. So uh, you'll be able to, to win those as well. But uh, yeah, so okay, let's talk about how you can win uh, one of these headbands or win my own personal headband that I wore, I think now for like two seasons, along with those gloves. Uh, first, you need to like uh, this video as well as make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And then below, I want you to put a comment of what is something that you would like to see in a future video? What's something that you would like help with personally? So what you'll need to do also is uh, email me. I'll put my email down here somewhere. Uh, with All you need to do is just email me with, uh, you can put like giveaway or something like that in the title is fine, but I just need to have your uh, YouTube handle or your screen name. So that way when I go and pick the winner, I can go and contact you directly and uh, just make life a little bit easier. Uh, so what I'll do is put around here also somewhere uh, when it is that I'll be in contact with you. So make sure you get your entries in before that happens. Thank you again, guys, so much for watching. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.